overflows the process of dissolution of ego kabir sings yeh tan vish ki belri guru amrit ki khan sish diye jo guru mile to bhi sasta chaan this body is a creeper of poisonous fruits and the master is a reservoir of nectar if by giving the head you get the master consider it is still cheaper human mind human body mind mechanism is like a creeper that only bears poisonous fruits you interact in the world of objects and beings through a mechanism this mechanism is guided by organs of perception and action you interact in the world of objects and beings through organs of perception these bring information and that information is processed in the mind through memory and various other factors and what comes in is anger frustration greed etc and through the organs of action you react as your response master your innerness is the reservoir of nectar that can open and start functioning only when the functioning of this mechanism ceases if by giving or surrendering this mechanism for the nectar awareness consider the, consider this sacrifice but consider this sacrifice worth a million times in the process of transformation ego is one of the major problems ego is the aggregate of conditionings belief system your identity crisis and many other factors transformation is possible only when you are firmly determined to work against all narrownesses conditionings and belief system only then your consciousness will evolve blossom to reach new heights from life of consciousness to life of awareness one who lives through awareness totally is an awakened one as a master of meditation shiva cuts off the physical head of ganesh this is symbolic truth can only be explained through symbols these symbols are true in a sense and in another sense not true but ego proper logic only raises fingers on the validity of the symbols in the process fails to understand what is being explained through the symbols the meaning of this symbol has to be understood truth can be said through symbols not directly symbols help in this process someone a poet said unko karne do murda rasmo ki baatein unko karne do murda rasmo ki baatein apni maina ko dil khol cheh chahane do apni maina ko dil khol cheh chahane do utha lenge unko zara apne paon samhalne to do unko karne do murda rasmo ki baatein let them talk about dead traditions let them talk about dead traditions and 
let our inner bird flap its wings and sing there its joy out human mind is a storehouse of memory intellect and ego sense as shankar sings through nirvan shatkam this creates a problem in transcendence mind is not something that you can improve upon in reforming the mind a new existence happens zen calls this no mind to explain something that is not of the mind better to say i stage beyond the mind or transcendence every master has to do this to initiate the process of transformation how he does it differs from seeker to seeker thus shiva cuts off the very seed of ego the physical mind remember ego is the ornament of ignorance and ignorance nourishes ego together these keep one deprived of inner bliss and transformation hence shiva symbolically cuts off the head of ganesh and in place transplants the head of an elephant elephant is the wisest of all creatures of animal kingdom it does not have conditioning or identity crisis etc as elephant is not conscious like man animal is unconscious man is the seed that can become conscious and transcend beyond super consciousness consciousness is the circumference with a center when consciousness is without center it is awareness man is most of the time man most of the time lives guided by unconscious and subconscious layers these are individual layers collective layers and cosmic layers let me explain this you have your own ignorance and logic this is individual when you meet and the birds of this same feather flock together you will attract the company of someone who carries the same kind of exp understanding so when you are guided by or helped by that person it becomes collective and conscious and then like a virus it is spread over the entire atmosphere that is known as cosmic unconsciousness being the seed there is every possibility of him next to only becoming conscious for a moment or so instead constant each moment from unconscious to conscious and then awareness is the journey of transformation in this process elephant is like a bridge though as an animal lives in and through unconsciousness but is the wisest among the animal kingdom as a result elephant bridges unconscious to conscious this is the reason shiva transplants animal head on ganesh so to each master cuts off the head of the seeker sufis call 
ego as nafs and explains various aspects of nafs. Really, transformation is possible only when you are firmly determined to work against all narrownesses, conditionings and belief system. Only then your consciousness will evolve and blossom to reach new heights. Lalaji has said, Beta Subi, Sadakat ki jaan hai. Beta Subi means narrowness. Sadakat means truth. And jaan means essence. Transcendence, transcendence beyond narrowness is the essence of truth. When you transcend beyond the narrowness of all only then you can dwell in the realm of truth, not otherwise. Enough for now.